lights out, lying in your arms, and these feelings start to change. One look into your eyes, and I'm floating far away. I've never been. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For this tutorial, you're going to be using your latch hook and four packs of the Amore Collection Goddex Dreadlock Deep Wave. You guys, this hair is very soft, is very lightweight on the head, and very, very easy and quick to install on your head. And you guys are going to absolutely love this. So I'm going to be breaking this tutorial into five simple basic steps that's going to be very easy for you to install. Step one, all we're doing is detangling the hair. This is going to make it easier for me to braid through the hair because our hair is natural. So doing this step makes it easier and less painful for my client. So for step two, I'm going to be showing you guys my braid pattern. Now we're going to begin by sectioning the hair into two sections. From temple to temple, which will be the back section, and then of course the remaining top section, which we're going to do regular all back cornrows on. So for step three, we're going to begin the actual braiding. Uh, first, you're going to begin by parting the hair in an angle, in an upside down V shape. Now, the purpose of me doing this method is so that my client will be able to wear her hair up or in whatever way she chooses to wear them and gives her that versatility within the styling of this hairstyle. Um, I just find that braiding the hair um, this way along the perimeter of the hair just gives you that more realistic and natural look to your hair especially when you put it up you know it just makes it look more realistic and it doesn't have that typical crochet braids look in the bottom or the perimeter of your hair So as you can tell, I'm just connecting all those strands together and in the midsection, I'm just going to be doing all back corn rolls and by the time you're done, this is what your hair should look like. This is my braid pattern. It's very flat. Um, it has um, corn rolls going up around the perimeter of the hair for the most part as you guys can tell. Very nice and flat and yeah. So if you've gone through step three, that's the hard part. Now I'm sure you'd be very happy to know that step four is very, very easy. All you're doing is crocheting the hair through the corn rolls and that's really it. Okay, I'm sure you're questioning me right now. Why did I go, why did I go through all of that stress for my braid pattern? This is it, sis. Like, when your clients put her hair up, this is how natural you want it to look. You don't want it to have that straight, you know, cornrow look around the perimeter. You want it to look very, very natural. And this is the look you're going to get if you use this particular um, braiding pattern. And the only tip I would give you is that always make sure that you insert your latch hook from the top whenever you get to the front section. Um, when, you're, when you're doing the back section, it doesn't really matter, but when you get to the front 
section of your cornrows, make sure that you're inserting your latch hook from the very top of the cornrows instead of going from the bottom. Always insert from the top, that ensures more security when you do lock in those locks. Did you ever really think I was going to forget the baby hairs? Are you serious? <laughs> Girl, get you some gots to be glue and lay those edges before you even think of getting out of that chair. So my trick is just simply bringing forward the baby hair initially and then just using my other uh, thumb, just gonna create a curve. This will just make everything easier and just, it's just like a one, two quick step that I use to achieve the perfect baby hairs on my clients and it works like magic. And of course, nothing, puts the whole look together than a big face girls. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope this was very helpful to you guys. Don't forget to check my description to get the link to purchase this hair. I got mine from Sam's Beauty Supply Store online so you guys can also get yours from there as well. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn thumbs up this video and also hit up my social media for little mini quick tutorials as well. And I'll see you guys next week on my next video. Have a merry day and God bless.